What is up, what is up, Mr. Crazy1870, and I have the Sony WH-1000XM4 headphones, and look at that copper Sony branding, I don't know, I just like that copper color looking Sony logo, I think it looks dope. So once you pick the Sony 1000 XM4 headphones, you are going to get a little cool carrying case, which is not little, it's pretty large, but has a really cool soft touch material here on the outside. You also have like a little area where you could pretty much insert some of your cables or whatever is it that you can carry right here on the side. Now, if you open it up, this is where you store your headphones. So these do sort of swivel a little, let me see. These do have like a little weird swivel to them. I think like this, which it is gonna take a little bit of a learning curve well at least for me to kind of figure out how these actually go stored into the carrying case but again i'm pretty sure it's not that hard but this is the carrying case now in here you're gonna get this little plane adapter right here um which serves to those that travel a lot you also have your usb type c charging cable to charge the headphones up what else what else Oh, you also have your 3.5 millimeter input jack, or I'm sorry, uh, millimeter uh, cable, which I'm currently using right now. But all that you get within the actual box. So you get, you pretty much get everything that you need and you're gonna use with the headphones. So giving you a little bit of the ins and outs of the headphones. Now, if you look at the bottom, you have your USB type C input here at the bottom, which is what you're gonna use to charge the headphones. Uh, and that's on the right cup. If we look at the left, you have your 3.5 input. We have your power switch. Let me go ahead and turn these off. So that turns them off and on. You have your custom button right here, which I think though that's to customize your ambient and your noise counseling. And what else? I think that's pretty much it. You also have your touch sensitive controls on the cups themselves, which are able to control certain music. And you also have your end mark on the left cup, which is right there. They're also adjustable to your head size. Uh, the hinges look pretty solid. Uh, they don't feel cheap. Another thing that I've noticed with these is that they're pretty light. They're not all that heavy. You got some padding right here for your ear cups. You also have some padding at the top. Once again, those are all, you know, extra added features for extra comfort when you're wearing them for long periods of time. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the sound quality. And oh boy, let me tell you guys, these have an amazing, well-balanced sound quality. And I'm not even talking about the noise canceling. Now the noise canceling on these are super, super, badass i swear to god that once you throw these on and you activate noise canceling you are not going to hear anybody you're not going to hear a thing the only thing that you're going to hear is your music and you're going to get into your vibe and in all reality you're just going to zone out you know the noise canceling these are super super badass i think they're probably one of the best noise canceling headphones that i've actually ever used now let me go ahead and go over some of the actual features now once you throw these on they have, once you throw these on, let's say you have them on and you are listening to some music and you have noise canceling, you know, activated. So let's say you're vibing or whatever, or you're traveling or whatever the case may be, and your music is playing and you want to hear a person or you want to go ahead and a person's talking to you or whatever. What you do is you press, you press it and it's pretty much, it's pretty much going to mute the sound and you're able to hear and have a conversation with that person, whether it be a quick directions or whatever the case be, you don't have to go into your phone, pause, or anything like that. All you gotta do is pretty much press on your right cup, hold it, and it's gonna go ahead and pause the music. So let me go ahead and just kind of give you guys a quick demo. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on. I'll press play for a little volume. So let's say I wanna communicate with somebody. Press like this. Now I'm actually, it went into ambient mode it paused, not paused my music completely, but it lowered it, 
but I could kind of hear what's going on in the music's at a low level. All right, so kind of going over a little bit of the touch sensitive controls. Uh, please apologize if I'm kind of yelling because I really can't hear a thing. It sounds. <laughs> All right, so. So here I have my. So here I have my music. So I am using the Music Connect app. So if I press. So that right there paused my music. I'm gonna go ahead and unpause. So that's on pause right there. So now my music is playing. All right, so now if I wanna go ahead and track forward and backward, I'm gonna show you guys that right now. So right there, I'm going forward. All I do is swipe. I'm going go back right now. See? Now I'm going back. Now if I wanna go ahead and put volume up and down, you go up. So I'm lowering my volume right now. Now if I wanna bump up the volume a little more, Go up. All right, so those are some of the touch sensitive controls. <laughs> the same thing goes for uh, when you receive calls. Um, everything is gonna be accessed through the right cup. So going over a little bit more extra features. So you also have speak to talk, which is another really, really awesome feature, which again, it is also really useful. So let's say you have your headphones on and you're listening to music like in a bus or wherever you're at and you're on full blown noise canceling. I mean, you cannot hear a thing. So what it is, is that if you talk, it's gonna automatically detect that and go into ambient, ambient mode and pretty much pause your music and be into ambient mode. So now you can go ahead and have that conversation, but you're able to hear now because it is in ambient mode and not in noise canceling, which again, noise canceling or these are super, super badass. So a couple other cool features that you could customize within the Music Connect app. Um, it, does, it also has where it, it detects what you're doing. So it'll automatically detect whether like, let's say, you know, you're in a situation where you need to have ambient mode. Uh, it'll detect that and automatically go into that mode. Uh, again, you could customize all this within the actual settings. There's also another feature where you, again, you can customize all of this in the music control app. Now, if you are playing music and you take them off, it'll automatically pause. And they also have a section where you could customize these to, if they're off, you're not wearing them and you're placing them on your desk or whatever, they're gonna automatically turn off. That way they can go ahead and conserve battery. Now, battery life is also really good. You get about 30 hours, according to Sony. You also have quick charge, which again, 10 minutes is gonna give you about five hours of playtime. How dope is that? You can also connect two devices, not just one, but two simultaneously with the Sony WH-1000XM4, which again, it is dope. I think with the previous gen model, you were only able to do one. Now you're able to do two, which again, that's an extra added feature compared, I think, compared to the previous model. So once again, if you're looking to pick these up, these are super, super dope. One of the best out in the market right now. Honestly, I think that I'm not gonna throw my Beat Studios to the trash, but I am gonna go ahead and hang them up for a little bit because these right here are super, super amazing. A couple things now, these are not advertised at sweat or waterproof. So again, working out with these, I don't know if it's gonna cause an issue, but again, they're not advertised as a working out type of headphones. But again, these would be super, super dope to work out in because they block out noise really really good i mean the noise canceling are these and the sound are super super badass now 
Another thing that I kind of encountered, and it might be just because I'm not really too used to them, but again, the touch sensitive buttons or the touch sensitive controls, you really have to trigger that right perfect sweet spot in order for it to activate. Again, it could be because I'm not really used to them, uh, but again, those are just some of the issues or one of the issues or the only issue that I encountered with these, but I think it's because I'm not really too used to them and you really have to trigger that sweet spot within uh, the right cup. So once again, if you're looking to pick these up, pick them up. You will not be disappointed one bit. I think they're worth every single penny. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Don't forget to check out the two latest videos. Check out the site, looneytechtv.com, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.